Alright guys, welcome back and in this video I want to start talking to you about WPA and also WPA2 password recovery. So basically this is a way that you can figure out the password of a WPA password protected network. And this is useful, let's say that you just moved somewhere new and you set up your Wi-Fi, made a password and then a few days later you forgot it. Well you can actually get that back, let's say if you forgot to write it down and the reason that I'm teaching it in this video series is this is actually what hackers do whenever they figure out the password for your wireless network so if your network keeps getting hacked and you're like what the heck's going on I clearly didn't tell anyone else my password well this is the technique that they use to figure it out now just a little disclaimer what I'm gonna be showing you guys is an extremely simplified version of what really happens the exact 802.11 Wi-Fi protocol and also the algorithm that WPA uses for the encryption keys it's actually really complex I just want to give you guys a real brief broad overview because in the next video whenever we actually perform this attack it's good to have a nice basic understanding of you know just the fundamentals of what's going on behind the scenes so this is essentially how WPA and password protected networks work Whenever you have a device and it wants to access a password protected network, we'll say the password's bacon123, what this tablet needs to do is it needs a way to verify that it knows the password. However, here's the tricky part, it can't actually send the password to the router. Now I say that it can't send it because the reason for that, let me draw a mean face on this laptop is the reason that it can't just send it in plain text is because anyone that's listening they could just be spying and listen for that password. All right, that's uh, kind of tricky. So how the heck is this tablet gonna prove that it knows the password without actually saying the password? Well, what it does is it actually uses that password and puts it through this hashing algorithm. Now this algorithm and the specifics of how this algorithm, this formula works, they aren't really important, but I just wanna give you guys, you know, a quick demo. So it pretty much takes a bunch of different variables like the SSID, the Mac, some other things, and one of those variables is the password. So it takes all of these pieces, runs it through a hashing algorithm, and comes up with this weird answer, which is like 87 JK, I'm just making this up, 42 explanation point. So there you go. So the reason that this actually works is because this guy right here, if he knows the correct password, then he's gonna get this answer right there so then he can get that and send it across the network so 87 JK 42 whatever now this access point it obviously knows the answer because it's stored in there and it knows all the other pieces so it's gonna know that the correct answer is 87 JK 42 right there so whenever it figures out the answer sends it across the network the router is gonna be able to check it and say okay this dude clearly knew the password and the best part about this is this is how you can actually prove that you know a password without sending the actual password over the network so it's all actually pretty fascinating if you want to look it up some more highly recommend that and this isn't you know all there is to it from here they do other stuff like make their encryption key and once they both have the encryption key that is how this tablet and this access point can encrypt and decrypt packets for a nice secure conversation and if you remember a couple tutorials ago whenever we viewed those packets and we were trying to read them it looked like all mumbo jumbo well the reason for that is because it was encrypted using the encryption key that was derived from basically this authentication method known as a four-way handshake so this is all pretty technical and like I said we really don't need to understand most of this what you really need to understand is this if you can figure out all the pieces to the puzzle then you can basically figure out everything else in other words once you know the pieces that go into making up the keys then what you can do is not only can you join the network yourself but you can decrypt everyone else's data that's on the network all right, that's pretty cool, but the problem is that we don't have these pieces. Specifically, we are missing the password. So, you know, I guess that's that. I guess we'll go home. Well, wait a second. Let's think about this. 
I mean, we may not have the password yet, but what information do we have? Well, we have the entire formula. I mean, not all the pieces to the formula, but we know how the formula works. And we also have some other critical pieces that we may need. I mean, we can see the answer. In plain text, no problem. You may think that that's worthless, but I mean, we can get the SSID, we can get the Mac, and all of the other pieces except from the password, we can just pull out of plain text. All right, so we have all these pieces, but the only thing we're missing is this. So what we can do from here is actually really cool. We can have a huge list of passwords and we can just start plugging them in for this part of the puzzle right now. So we're going to run through a huge list and whenever we hit one that gives us this answer, we know that that is the correct password. So this is actually called a dictionary attack when you have a huge list of potential passwords and you're just going to go through one by one by one and you're going to plug them all into this formula and whatever one is going to give you this result then you knew that that was the password for the wireless network and once you have the password like I said not only can you log in and access the network but you can also figure out how to make everyone's key and start decrypting all of their information so I know it sounds pretty confusing and like I said this was just a real brief overview of what we're going to do <laughs> believe it or not it's actually easier just to do it so in the next video I'm gonna be showing you guys how this all works and trust me um, you guys are gonna love it so I'll see you guys then